So, hello everyone, welcome to Pentas. I'm here today with Christina. Hello everyone. And I'm also Christina. So today <laughs> we are going to present you our novelties, two pens. One of them is the tacky glue pen and the other one is the transfer pen. So I'm going to be the voice and Christina is going to be the hand. So let's get started. So first, we are going to present you the transfer pen. This is a pen with which you can transfer laser printed images onto porosus surfaces. I'll give it to you. So at the moment we are having a laser printed image. This one is from Stamperia, but of course you can, you can print your own designs. And this pen is containing the same solution as you already know that we have in a form of a glass that we fill in a glass one. And the process is also the same. In case of the pen itself, what you need to do first is that you need to fill up the marker. So this means that the tip needs to be filled up with the solution. For this, you need to push it down a couple of times, and then you will feel when the solution starts running. The method is basically the same. So first you need to soak your image. The image has to face down towards the object. You are going to transfer it. And then you first soak it with the solution. We are going to rub it afterwards. So transferring the image to the object. And then the last step is the sealing process. So at the moment, Christina is doing the soaking part and she is rubbing the image with the help of a wooden spatula. The image that we are transferring it can be either a black and white image, but it can also be a colored image as well. We are going step by step. So first you soak, then you rub, and then you will move on. So do not try to do it at once. So soaking the whole image at once, but do it step by step. So if you feel that you do not have enough material at the tip of your marker, just simply push it down again on a separate sheet of paper. So do not do it on your object directly. Do it in a separate piece of paper that you have near you. As you can see, the process is very easy and this marker is really easy to use. So even for those who were afraid to transfer with the help of this pen, it became really, really very easy. And then as the last step, we remove the paper and you have your image transferred to the object. And it is very important to always close your marker so so keep it tightly. So and a couple of more materials that you can use the transfer on. One of them is for example an Eva sheet. So you can use the transfer on different surfaces. For example, this one is an EVA sheet. Here you can see the transfer part. This one is just regular decoupage. And this part is the transfer on it. It works perfectly also on fabric. In the case of a fabric, you need to seal your project with a fabric medium. And if you seal this with a fabric medium, afterward you can wa wash it in a washing machine either. 
We have also it on, on a ceramic. Even if the surface is not completely flat, as you can see it here, with the help of this foot marker, it's really easy to transfer images, even inside into it. Mm -hmm. And here we have a little jewelry. The base is decor clay, yeah. and on top we transfer this nice little butterfly image. Mm -hmm. And then we move on to the tacky glue pen. In the meantime, please do not hesitate. If you have any questions, we are here to help you and to answer any of your questions. So here comes the tacky glue pen. So the tacky glue pen is a water-based glue which remains tacky even when it's dried, so after when it's dried. So we can use it to add different materials on top, to stick different materials on top. It is basically the same as we have as a version of a hobby glue, but we also have it in a jar. The formula is a little bit different, so it needs to fit to the marker. The, some words about the tips. So you can change the tip. It comes with a tip with, of course, two ends, but it has two different ends. One of them is an angular one, and one of them is a blunt one. So depending on how thick line you would like to draw, you can change the tip easily, just like that, as Christina showed it to you. And the method is the same, as we have already seen in the case of the transfer pen. So first we need to fill up the tip. You need to push it down a couple of times, and then it starts running. But you need to do it only at the f uh, for the first time, so when you start using the pen, afterwards it will come automatically. The color, the color of the glue is light blue, so you will see it also on light surfaces. And these little <coughs> tips that you have already seen there, we are going to sell these also separately. So if, for example, if you use it on a rough surface regularly and, and, it, and they become torn and worn, you can, you can buy the tips separately. <laughs> and until Christina fills up our pen, let me show you a box on which we use the tacky glue band. So the base here is again a rice paper and certain parts of the rice paper is uh, highlighted with, in this case, a velvet powder. Also here is a trick that we are going to show you in a couple of minutes how to do, how to add a different pattern. So if you don't want only to highlight certain elements of your rice paper, but you want to add also different patterns, we will show you in a minute how to do that. Also at the sides, you can see that we used the tacky glue pen with the velvet powder. We have the velvet powder in many different very, very nice colors, so you can easily match it with your project or with your rice paper. Also, this is a glue that you can use on many different surfaces and materials. For example, even on quite hard surfaces like this one. So this is a foil to which we created into a, let's say, a lampshade. So there's a decoupage from the rear side, from the back side of the foil. And then we highlighted certain elements from it with the help of the tacky glue pen, adding some velvet powder here and some decor foil there. Also, it works on glass, but we will show you a little bit later. Mm -hmm. 
And now in the meantime, I can see that we managed to fill up the pan. So you can see that it's, it's light blue. And when it is dried, it will turn transparent. It is very important to always wait until the glue dries completely transparent before you add the materials you would like to stick onto it. And then what we are going to do on our projects, so on our canvas, that previously we transferred some writings at the bottom of the canvas. And now we are going to use the tacky glue pen on top. So we are going to highlight it and then add some velvet powder on top. The, the, the glue dries quite fast. So if you are just drawing lines, it, it only takes a couple of minutes. You can, you can already see that what we have drawn here previously, it's almost completely dried. So it's only at the sides where it needs a little bit more time, but otherwise it's almost dried. It is a nice way to combine the two pens. Mm -hmm. And a nice trick that now we are going to show you is that if you are if you're not comfortable with drying just by hand, you can use for example a 3D stencil and use that pattern. Just simply place your 3D stencil on your project and use a regular pen and draw the outlines, draw the contours basically of your 3D stencil. And this is what we are going to use as a pattern. This is the same technique that you can also see here. So this part of this box was made the same way. So we use the 3D stencil to add this pattern. And again, fill up your tip if, it's if it is needed on a separate paper, so not on your project directly. And then you can just simply follow the lines of the stencil. And now, as we can see, it is already dried. <laughs> so it was quite fast. <laughs> so we can, we can easily move on with that. So again, you, you know when it is completely dried, if it is completely transparent, it's important. And on top, we are going to use the metal flakes. Just simply with your fingers, you can rub it on top of the tacky glue. And as you can see, we only use the contours of our stencil. So we did not fill it out completely, but you can also fill it if you want. It is absolutely up to you how to use it. In this case, we are using a variegated metal flake, but of course we have many, many varieties of this, variegated ones and plain ones also. So you can choose the one which matches your project the best.
Hogyha valahol nem tökéletes esetleg a vonalat vissza tud menni, újra meghúzni, mm-hmm. megválni, még megszervezni, és akkor mm-hmm. be tudja tenni. So, when you are doing the rubbing of the metal flakes, if you notice that somewhere you missed a little part, you can just simply go back with the tacky glue, then wait again until it is completely dried, and then you add the flakes. So there is no problem if you missed a certain part, you can just simply go back. And as the last step, you just need to remove the excess of the metal flakes with a brush, with the help of a brush. And that's it. I hope you can see it. So this is a very easy trick to do. And you really do not need to draw. Simply just follow a stencil. In the next step, we are going to highlight the writing at the bottom with some velvet powder. In this case, with black velvet powder. So simply you just sprinkle on top and you just push it a little bit you can also do it with like a circular movement go through your writing at all parts again if you missed any part just add some more of the velvet powder And this is a super way to give it a little bit of three dimension, but at the same time, it is real velvet powder, so you will feel it. It will have a velvety touch of your project. And as you can see, we, we combined the, the two pens. So previously we transferred this writing, and now we are highlighting it with the help of a tacky glue pen. So the two pens can be really very nicely combined. And again, we just remove the excess with the help of the brush. And you can see the effect is really very nice and super soft. We hope you like it. And as the very last step, you know, I, I'm hope, I hope you know it very well that you need to seal the metal flakes. So for that, either you can use a solvent-based varnish or our pouring glaze. It is important that not all water-based varnishes are good for this purpose, but our pouring glaze is perfect for this. So you can use the pouring glaze, which is a water-based varnish, to seal the metal flakes. <laughs> And we just simply get a very thin brush and just add on the top of the metal flakes the pouring glaze to seal it so it will protect it from oxidization. It is important to always seal the metal flakes otherwise it can turn brown. But if you seal it, if you protect it, then this won't happen. Mm-hmm. So, <coughs> and we're finished. We are finished with this project.
We hope you like it. I hope you could see that it is really a very easy project to do. We just wanted to show you the endless possibilities these two pens is holding. And we are also going to show you how to use the tacky glue pen on a glass surface. Because you know the glass is always always a hard surface, let's say, so it is not easy to work on it. But with the help of the tacky glue pen, it becomes really very easy. First, as always, you need to clean your glass surface. So you need to be sure that there's no dirt on it and it is not greasy. So we use alcohol-based solvents for this purpose. And then be careful not to touch it after you clean this. Again, it's an easy way. We are going to show you how to draw just simply lines. And we are going to use a ruler for it. And you need to place the ruler basically upside down, so you need to flip it first because it will keep a little bit of distance between your pan and the glass, so it won't, won't smear it. And then you just easily f draw the line near the ruler. And we are going to add the core foil on top. Of course, you can make again like writing, or you can draw any kind of pattern with it. It's just an easy way that we wanted to show you how to make straight lines. And then we need to wait until it's completely dried, but you can see that it is almost dried. So if we put behind it a black paper, you can easily see that it is almost completely dried. So you can see that it really, really dries fast. Mm -hmm. So, and in the case of the tacky glue, the better if you can leave it to air dry. So do not use a hair dryer for it. If you are really in a rush and you have to hurry or something, uh, you can use a hair dryer, but please keep it uh, from a certain distance from your project and use cold air with it. But if you can, just please leave it to air dry. As you can see, it dries really very fast. We can show you in a project that we did previously. Again, this is, this is also just a glass surface. And here, here is just a writing. We made this one with the same technique that we are showing to you. So first, uh, you just simply draw the, the writing and again, the lines with the help of the ruler with a tacky glue pen. Then we add the decor foil on top. And that's it. You can see that you can reach a very nice smooth surface. For these ones, for these radiuses, what we can do is we used the hobby glue tacky, so the one that is in a pot, and we just add it. You can add it with a spatula or even with a cotton swab or something, because in this case we make a bigger surface and we used on top the galaxy flakes. So for the galaxy flakes you need a little bit of bigger surface than just a line or something that you can create with the marker. So if you need a bigger surface, it's better to use the one that is in the pot to create enough surface for that to add the, the galaxy flakes on top. And you can see that you can have a very nice shimmering, glittering kind of effect, even on a glass. I hope it's, you can see it well. And as I can see, our nice lines 
are now dried so we can move on and we are going to use the decor foil on top you know it has two different sizes two different sides it's important to have the colored side facing up facing towards you and then you just simply rub on top the foil with your fingers you just push it down everywhere where you know you have the glue underneath and then just simply peel it off and voila <laughs> we have the lines this one is a holographic silver decor foil that we used in this case it is, very, it is again a very easy and very attractive technique to use and to seal our project we are going to use again our favorite varnish the pouring glaze and just simply we just run through the surface and seal the whole surface the pouring glaze dries uh, dries glossy so you can simply use it also on a glass surface it won't make the surface matte it will stay really nice and shiny and glossy and then now we just need to wait until it is completely dried and we are done <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed the presentation let us know in the comments section if you have any questions we we'll wait a couple of minutes but i hope we managed to show you that you can really easily and quickly use both of these pens and you can also combine mm -hmm. them. I think they are fantastic. So let us know if you have any questions. Or of course, later you can also ask. So we are going to check later also the comments. So if you have any questions in the meantime, we are going to answer you, of course. But if there are no questions, I'm just checking it. I'm just refreshing, but I don't see at the moment any questions. So thank you very much then for joining us and, and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.